Cyberspace is a place of opportunities, but at the same time, it's also a place where new threats arise that can pose challenges to international peace and stability. For over 20 years, the United Nations has facilitated negotiations among governments with the goal of ensuring stability and peace in cyberspace. The process dates back to 1998, when the Russian Federation advanced a proposal for a draft resolution that addressed the issue of the developments in the field of information and telecommunications in the context of international security. In 2001, the General Assembly adopted a resolution that proposed the establishment of a group of governmental experts to conduct a study on the topic. The first group convened in 2004. However, given the complexity of the issues involved, no agreement was reached on a consensus report. In 2005, the General Assembly passed a resolution that established a new group of governmental experts. The second GGE produced a consensus report with a set of recommendations. The first important stone was laid. Soon after, a new GGE was established. Experts agreed on a consensus report where it was recognized that international law, in particular the UN Charter, is applicable to cybersphere. The fourth session was another success. Experts agreed on a consensus report where it was proposed 11 voluntarily non-binding norms, principles of the responsible state's behavior, as well as confidence-building measures, international cooperation and capacity building. In the same year, the report was adopted by the General Assembly, which called upon all member states to be guided in their use of ICTs by the framework presented in the GGE report. The following year, the General Assembly established a fifth session. The group met from 2016 to 2017. However, this time experts didn't find an agreement, in particular on how existing rules of international law apply to state uses of ICTs. In December 2018, the General Assembly adopted two resolutions, one calling for a sixth UN GGE and another establishing the first UN Open-Ended Working Group. The mandates of these two processes were quite similar, however, the composition of them was different. Closed participation for the GGE and open participation for the OEWG. The two processes came to positive conclusions. The OEWG's report reaffirmed the language and recommendations from the GG consensus reports and addressed issues that so had not been widely discussed before, such as the protection of medical infrastructure and the endeavor to ensure the general availability and integrity of the Internet. A few months later, the GG produced a consensus report that included an additional understanding of the 11 voluntary GG 2015 norms. What's next? A new OEWG has been established with a five-year mandate starting from 2021 to 2025. The United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research has actively supported both processes throughout the years and it remains actively engaged in producing research that explores options to strengthen cyber stability and crisis management mechanisms. Its cyber policy portal has been recognized as a confidence-building tool by the last reports of GGE and OEWG.